I'm going to show you how you can link infographics, charts, and data tables in a slide merge using data ranges. So over here, you see I have a text box with the name of the city, and most of these fields up here only require one value in one cell. But down below, I have a chart, and of course the chart requires a data range, a full range of data. So let's go to the data to show you what this looks like. So again, if I go to column B, you can see that for every row, I have a different city. And in column B, I have the name of the city. So it's just one piece of data. And this is the case for most of these columns, except when you get to this last column, column J. So I'm just gonna move over here and you can see. In column J, this is the column, this is the cell that's gonna populate the data table on my slide merge. So in this case, I have to find a way to reference uh, this full range of data and fit it in this single cell. So there are three methods you can do this. The first method is if your data is on the same sheet um, as your slide merge. So what you can do is you can go ahead and type in equal and then select the range, press enter, and you're gonna get this uh, error value. What you have to do then is go back to the equal value and just delete that and put a single quote. That's gonna turn this um, data into text. That's what's gonna allow Engage to read this range, uh, to know that this is the range that you're trying to reference. Now, um, because of this layout, it might make more sense for you to put this data on a different sheet. So this is the, the second method. So over here, I have all the different ranges of data that'll populate the charts in that slide merge based on the city. So the second method, what you can do here is, same idea, you can click equals, and you can go back and go on the second sheet, select that range of data, and then you see the formula populate, click enter. And same as in the first example I showed you, you simply go back, delete the equal sign, and type in a single quote that'll convert this into text. Of course, you could write this formula out yourself if you just wanted to write single quote and type in sheet to exclamation mark and so on. The third method is using named ranges. So to use a name range in Excel, what you can do is you can go to sheet two and then select the range that you want to name. And over here in this box, this name box, you can type in London data and click enter. So this is the name box. So now when you select, for example, uh, a single cell, uh, you see that in this name box, there's no name. It's just a single cell C29. But when you highlight the range here that we've just named, you'll notice that the name appear, London Data. So if I go back to sheet one, in this case, I've already typed it, but you can go ahead and type London Data. And in this case, because it's text, you don't need to put the single quote in front. But these are the three methods you can reference a range of data to a single cell using slide merge. So let's go ahead and run this slide merge. Let's click on automate Excel slide merge. And I've already mapped my columns. So let's go ahead and just click run slide merge. So what it's gonna do now, it's, it's gonna go into that Excel spreadsheet. For every row, it's gonna read the values. It's gonna create a slide. And on that last column, column J, that's referencing those data ranges for that chart, it's gonna open up and then pull that information. So there we go. Now we have the slide for Paris, Chicago, London, Ottawa, Montreal. And you can see if you right click on this data table and click edit data in Excel, you can see that it's pulled the exact data that you referenced earlier in the Excel spreadsheet. So this is how you can incorporate infographics, charts, data tables, uh, using data ranges uh, with Engage and Slide Merge. Thank you.